Dear all, I am Marie-Christine Montfort, a French economist, and I've been working in the seafood industry for the past 25 years. I'm very happy to be given the chance to address with you the topic, very important topic, of um, the presence and the role of women in the seafood industry. Let us face the facts. The seafood industry is an iceberg. At the very top, the visible part, we only see men. But the reality is very different. Last year, on the behalf of the FAO, I gathered and analyzed what had been evidenced by social researchers on the role and the, the place that women occupy in the seafood industry. By seafood, we mean the entire industry, that is the, the capture, the aquaculture, the processing, the trading, uh, the research, NGOs, and so on and so forth. The results have been compiled in a document, the Globe Fish Report number 119, which is entitled The Role of Women in the Seafood Industry. I would like to share with you the major results of this piece of work. Uh, the most striking result is that at global scale, all industry included, women represent nearly half of the total labor force. One fish folk is a woman. The second major result is that they are invisible. Um, we can only take for an example the uh, numerous conferences on this business and uh, we see that uh, usually 95, uh, 90, at the best 85% of all speakers are men. The third result is that women face difficulties, specific difficulties, either from legal restrictions or from cultural discriminations. And here examples are numerous, and not only examples uh, are found in developing countries, but in all countries, with no exceptions. Another major result of this piece of work is that still a lot has to be done to identify the gender gap in the seafood industry and to acknowledge it, and to proper change, changes for inclusiveness. I can hear voices saying, OK, but this is not specific to the seafood industry, is it? Uh, no, indeed it is not. We can hear um, 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 people from the uh, global movie industry or for, from the construction industry as well, not to talk about the oil and gas industry, where uh, women are not given the same chances as men, but in those industries, efforts are made to change the things and we see specific programs that have been developed by these industries. What happened in our industry, over the six or about six months I spent working for this FAO research program, I could not uh, find a single example uh, of positive actions designed to improve the industry gender inclusiveness. The point now is for the industry and for public authorities, and this part is important, to recognize the importance of women, to include them in all decision and decision-making process, and not to exclude them. This is not for the sake of women, this is really for the benefit of the industry. And this is not to be fair, this is to be smart. So I'm very happy to see that you are all going to give it a thought with the help of Alice and Elizabeth, not to forget Emily, who made this session possible. Again, I'm very sorry not to be together with you, and I invite you all to read this document that you can find on the Internet, and uh, I wish you a very good session. Thank you.